All right, so we've got the caliper apart, and we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, just inspection and a couple of things before we reassemble. So again, you saw the caliper is not very complicated. There's not too many parts. Uh, you know, a few things, I guess, one of the important pieces of it is an inspection of the piston before you reassemble. Um, the piston is the sealing surface. The, the square cut O-ring seals against this surface here, so this is a really important surface to, to inspect and have a look at. Um, not so much the bore of the, the inside bore of the caliper. That's not even finished that, that, you know, finally. It's what we might call a rough machining job. So anyway, we're gonna look at the, the piston to make sure the piston is in good shape as far as that goes. Just be aware too, there's other pistons. Uh, this one here is made of aluminum. So again, it's a softer material. So be careful when you're handling these and especially when you're taking it apart or you know, doing anything with that. Some of them are a composite material like this one. Um, other ones, again, are a, like a steel with a chrome finish. Again, you wanna make sure this stuff is in good shape. A tiny little bit of pitting on that chrome means it's not gonna work. So you gotta have a good inspection of that, okay? So just be aware of the different types of pistons. Again, this is the one we're gonna deal with here. So it looks like it's pretty good. We could put it back in. Uh, again, I mentioned the bore of the caliper is not that, uh, the, the machining on it is not that precise or precision, but you still wanna have a look at it, make sure it's in good shape inside here. Uh, the other thing that's really important to pay attention to is the O-ring groove. So that's the groove right there where the O-ring, the square cut ring would fit into. And we wanna make sure that is clean. There's no corrosion in the bottom. You could run an O-ring pick like this around there if you had to just to make sure there's nothing in there. Again, in this area here too, all the way around the whole thing because this is where the dust boot is gonna sit into. So make sure those are inspected. Um, you know, the caliper kit itself really that we're gonna put in this one is just, it's just two components in this kit. I'll go ahead and tear this one open and show you what we're talking about. All we have really is a new dust boot and a new quad ring. Those are the two items, okay? Something else I'll mention at this time when we're gonna put this together is lubrication. When we're gonna put the, the, it back together, we wanna make sure we, as, we assemble it with something uh, for lubrication, makes it going back together a lot easier. You can use clean brake fluid, but if you happen to have some product like this, this is a, a product that's meant to be acceptable with uh, hydraulic and compatible with hydraulic brake systems, I find this works really good. It's like a grease, but it's compatible with the system. So either clean brake fluid or some product such as this is compatible with your brake system.